here yeah. I am with malware bites. Yeah. Um, no, introduce yourself. Hi there, Dan. Yeah, so my name's Craig Chadwick. Um, I'm one of the team managers uh, for the MSP business here at Malware Bytes, yeah. and we're here for the second year, second time in the year. And Malware Bytes, you're an included service within the LGFL subscription, and have been for nearly five years, something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. So we're part of the um, the broad uh, broadband bundle that uh, you guys um, have designed for the schools. Yeah. Um, and for us, it's you know it's just, it's just great to be part of. Uh, a service where we feel like we can provide value yeah. to the schools from a cybersecurity point of view. And likewise, it's great having malware bytes on board as another layer of defense in our cyber cloud yep. for schools to claim and deploy uh, yep. across our estate of over three and a half thousand schools. Yeah, so, absolutely. I think for us, it's just ensuring that we're keeping up to, we're keeping up to speed with uh, you know, scanning, finding things that um, that could, could, could that could harm the environment. Well, that's what I like about malware bytes. I bought it at home once, and it cost me twenty quid for just for my device license. Yeah. But um, just speaking from experience, and I hope people watching this will appreciate. Uh, sometimes you need to spring clean your devices, and malware bytes is a brilliant local way of doing that by just scanning your device periodically, and then quarantining all those potentially unwanted pups, programs. Pups. pups. Yeah, pups. Is a good name for them. And removing them, and I think this is one of the big benefits of malware bytes in schools, is to keep devices optimized yep. uh, and free of unwanted programs. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, I think you know you would have seen in the press recently a lot of schools hit with um, ransomware and, and other threats. So for us, it's, it's it's imperative that we help those schools keep protected. So it's just clearing out all that adware and stuff that machines pick up over time that could be just sitting there latently but then suddenly they, they can activate be used. which yeah. is one of the tactics they sit there dormant sit they're not doing anything and then they can actually then start activate yeah. they can be activated and start yeah. potentially okay. causing some causing some trouble okay well look, craig thanks for coming over to the mic today no, no problem uh